Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to be painting a beautiful special turkey just in time for Thanksgiving in a, in a few weeks. So you'll have this ready. So this is what we're going to be painting today. Okay, I'm going to put this on the side for reference. Now, if you like, you can sketch your turkey in with a pencil or you can just put a paint it in using your brush. I'm picking up a half an inch flat brush and we're going to start with that. Now, we are going to use brown, but I'm going to add white to it to make it lighter. So if you already have light brown you don't have to mix it but I think mine is a little too dark so I want to lighten it up so I'm just going to add a little bit of white to it not much just a little just enough and then I'm going to start with the head because I want the head and the body to dry so make your circle there you go and please do not make it too thick Keep it light on the paint so it can dry. Let's do the body. Pick up a little bit more brown. And we're going to add the body. Pick up some more. And I'm going down. My stroke is going down. It's not going up is coming down. See that? Keep it coming down. And shape it. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to do the colorful feathers. I picked I picked orange because I mixed the yellow with the red. I picked green. I picked red. I picked purple. And I did a brown one. And I did the yellow. Okay, let me clean my brush in the water and dry it really well. You don't want water on your brush. So make sure you dry it really well. Okay, we're going to start adding the feathers. Now, uh, again, you can use the paints to put them in or if you want to wait for the body to dry, you can do something like this. You can take three fingers and you can put them here and you can do this. That will be one, two, three. That will be three. You can flip it. And again, you can do three fingers. One, two, three. Okay. And then we need two here, two here, and one above the hat. So you can do two fingers. You can do one, two, and here you can do two, one, two, and then one in the middle. You, let's make that one a little taller. You saw that? Let me bring it closer. You see? The sizes of my finger. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the one in the middle. You can do that too. What we're going to do is we're going to start filling the colors in. So let's start with orange. So we're going to do yellow to the side. Take a little bit of red and mix it in. Mix it. Get that orange look and we're going to put it in. If it's too reddish for you, pick up a little bit more yellow and add it to the mixture. 
until you get that pretty orange that you like. Fill it in. Come over here and do the same thing here. Come close to the body and fill it in. There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to put, because it's 10 plus 1, it's 11. So I'm going to go ahead and do that orange as well, since I have the orange on my brush. There you go. Cool. That's not cool. So once I'm done with that color, I washed my brush in the water and I'm drying it. Really drying it. Now, I'm going to pick up yellow. I want to do yellow here. So let's do yellow. Pick up your yellow and let's put it in the same way. Go around the little head and fill it in. Again, go around what you sketched, your little fingers. Go around the head and fill it in. Okay, we did that one. Let's clean our brush again in water and dry it really, really well. See, I'm drying it because I want to make sure I have no water there. So let's do uh, let's do a brown here. So I'm going to do a dark brown. I'm not mixing it with the white. So I want to keep it dark brown, shaping it up to the body, and filling it in. Again, picking up that brown, getting close to the body, going around the shape of the head, and filling it in. There you go. My brown, wash my brush, dry it really well. So far, I like the colors, fall colors. So let's pick up purple. Do purple here. Go around the body, fill it in. Pick up some more and come to this side. Go up to where the body meets. Go around the body, shaping the feather that you sketched in and filling it in. Again, washing my brush, drying it. I don't realize that sometimes that I might be moving a little fast, but if I am, please pause the video. I'm sure you all know how to pause it and get caught up to the colors that I have placed on my turkey and once you get caught up start your video and resume where you left off okay so let's do red red here shaping the body Pick up some more if you have to and fill it in. Again, shape the feather that you put in there. Go around the body, shaping the body. You saw that? Real slow, no need to hurry, have fun. Mm 
this is so cute turkey and you can make them any colors you want you can make one or two paintings and paint them different colors if you like now I would like to maybe do another one over here because I want to use that green see because my turkey on this one has a green and not in all the same right places but it still has a green so I want to put in that green so let's add a green you can use your pinky to to trace it in trace around and do two if it's uncomfortable for you you can always flip your canvas okay so why don't I do that too put my brush down let's do this okay I'm going to sketch it that's one and let's see okay find a comfortable there you go comfortable way to do it and I'm just gonna connect it connect it to the body so now you see now I can connect it and color it in shaping it coming to the bottom shaping it and filling it in I'm glad I put my green the same thing if you need to flip this your canvas if it's easier for you do that because I always do it so it's easier for my wrist I don't have to struggle there you go see this way too you move it around just make it easier for yourself that way you don't have to struggle have fun now you're going to decide what colors you're going to use on your turkey and make it your own personal turkey and it, again it's going to be in time for the holidays so you can display your artwork while everybody's having dinner what I'm going to do is I'm going to now pick up my half inch filbert and filbert is a little round right here on the tip what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some white. White is here. I have it over there too, but I'll use this one. And I'm just going to shape a little eye. Another little eye right there. Okay, that's his eye. I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to put some yellow for his nose. yellow and it's uh you see how I did it's a V see it's a V pointed you know add more if you have to there you go and if yours come out too light let it dry and go back and put some more yellow now I'm gonna use put the tip of the eye making sure my brush is really dry I'm going to put a little tap there and a tap there see the beautiful eyes isn't that cute now why don't we give them a little hat since we have the black on our brush pick up some black you don't have to wash it because remember you already have black on it so let's give them a hat we're going to go across here, pick up some more black, and we're going to make it a little taller. Here we go, shape it. Now we're going to give the top his little hat. We are going to give him some buttons. He's all dressed up for the holidays, so we're going to give him some buttons. We also gonna give them some legs. One, two. We're going to do one, two, three, 
pick up a little bit more. One, two, three. Okay, wash your brush. Dry it well. We're gonna pick up some red. And we're gonna give the turkey his wobble, wobble, wobble. See? I put some more, just going around his beak and put it in there. Isn't that cute? Now, if you want to give them some feathers here as well, you go ahead and pick up your dark brown without adding the white. And we're just going to go like this. See? It's like, um, let me flip it. It's like an M. See? M. And then another one. Okay. Now what you can do is add, see this one looks like a W because it's facing this way. So we're going to put a W here. Those are his little feathers. Then we're going to put M and one more. M and one more. And here, we're going to put a W. One, two, and one more. Okay. I'm very happy with my turkey. And because I'm really happy with my turkey, I'm going to sign my turkey. And depending what material you're using, if you're using a canvas, use your half inch liner, which is a very fine point, to put your name. If you're using paper like I did, I'm using a permanent marker or any marker you might have handy. So I'm going to sign my name. And I'm also going to add 19 for the year because I want to remember when I did this one. And every year I'll do one so my family can display it on the walls for the holidays. Well, my friends, remember to be thankful this holiday. I will see you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amiguitos. Thank you.